Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV with a follow-up to the Ruger PC Charger review. This will be a quick one. When I tested the Ruger PC Charger 9mm pistol for the review, link in the upper right hand corner if you haven't seen it yet, I bought an SB Tactical FS1913 folding brace to use with it. The FS1913 clamps onto a 1913 rail. The F stands for folding and the S stands for suck it ATF, it's just a brace. The version I bought and used in the test has a plastic strut between the metal clamp hardware and the rubber part of the arm brace. SB Tactical also offers one with an aluminum strut. It's more expensive and slightly heavier, but it does feel nicer and I'd recommend the aluminum one unless you're chasing ounces. When shooting the PC charger with the polymer strut brace, myself and the other shooters who tested it with me had issues with the brace collapsing under recoil. I theorized that it wouldn't happen with the aluminum strut version of the brace, but I wasn't sure. The folks at SB Tactical saw the video and got in touch with me afterwards. They sent me an aluminum version of the brace, and they also sent me a replacement latching piece for the plastic strut brace and asked me to try them both on the charger. So I took the PC charger back to the range with the updated polymer strut brace and the aluminum strut brace to test it out. The replacement part for the brace is just this little metal piece. It's the flange that clamps the brace onto the Picatinny rail. The replacement piece is slightly shorter than the original. I can only speculate as to what this is trying to accomplish, so I won't waste your time with that. The short version is that even with the upgraded brace hardware, the polymer strut version still collapses under recoil. Alright, this is the plastic strut FS1913 brace with the replacement latch hardware sent by SB Tactical. I'm going to try to shoot this thing and see if that actually keeps it from collapsing like it did before. Sure don't. I switched to the metal strut version and had the same problem. Okay, switched over to the aluminum strut version of the FS1913. I say immediately it feels better. It's just got a more solid, more reassuring feel. But we'll see if it still jumps the detent under the blowback recoil. Yes. Yes, it does. You can avoid the issue by holding the brace very loosely and not tucking it into your uh, bicep and cheek region. Wink. Or the other way, it's just to hold the gun very gingerly. Yeah. If you actually, if you actually tuck it into your, you know, your face, right? If you actually tuck it into your face. Yeah, you're just you're putting too much resistance on it. If you just sort of hold it lightly, kind of works. Given the way the brace folds, I'm pretty sure I figured out the issue, and I drew this crude diagram. The 1913 rail section on the back of the charger is not in line with the receiver and the direction of recoil. Combine that with the location of the pistol grip, and I think the gun tends to rotate back and downwards under recoil. When the brace is tucked into your notch shoulder, it is being pushed straight forward, but the gun recoils backwards and down. This causes the two sides of the brace latch to slide and unlock. We tested a polymer strut version of the FS1913 brace on a friend's BRN180 pistol, which doesn't recoil as much as a blowback 9mm, but does recoil more than a normal AR. It works perfectly fine and doesn't collapse, I suspect because the recoil is all directly in line with the brace. I sent my crude diagram to SB Tactical, and surprisingly they didn't block me or file a cease and desist, which I thought was nice of them, given that I'm not an engineer and I don't actually know how physics works. They have since been able to source a PC charger of their own to test with, and they've redesigned the latch hardware to use a stiffer spring to stay locked. This should make it more suitable for high recoil applications, or on guns like the PC charger where the recoil is not directly in line. So does it work? I don't know. I sent the charger back to Ruger, so I'm no longer the guy to test it. I think SB Tactical have it figured out now, so if you have a PC charger and need your 1913 brace upgraded, get in touch with them. I'm sure they'll sort you out. They seem like good people, and I'm not just saying that because they were way nicer to me than my liberal arts degree gives them any reason to be. Alright, thanks for watching guys. TFB TV is supported by Ventura Munitions and Top Gun Supply, and we are also directly supported by our viewers on Subscribestar and Patreon. Links to those are in the video description. Check out our sponsors if you need ammo or range supplies. We appreciate you guys, and we can't do it without you. See you next time.